So this video will give you the derivation of quantum efficiency and LED power. So here we'll be calculating internal quantum efficiency and external quantum efficiency. So the basic definition for internal quantum efficiency is it is the fraction of electron hole pairs that recombine radiatively or it is the ratio of radiative recombination rate to total recombination rate. So in semiconductor basically we have two different types of recombination. The first one is radiative recombination and second one is non-radiative recombination. So what is recombination is electrons and holes will recombine and produce photon and the generated photon will release its energy in form of light. So this process is said to be recombination particularly radiative recombination. So non-radiative recombination additionally a third particle will be included. So that we are not going to see. We are concentrating on radiative recombination. And here mathematical expression for internal quantum efficiency is eta internal is equal to rr divided by rr plus rnr. Here the suffix r indicates radiative recombination and nr indicates non-radiative recombination. So RR divided by the total is radiative plus non-radiative. So in the denominator we have RR plus RNR. So the next term which is included in the derivation is N. N is nothing but the excess carriers. It may be electrons that is free electrons or free holes. So the radiative lifetime it is indicated with the parameter tau R. Tau R is equal to N by RR. And non-radiative lifetime is tau nr is equal to n by r nr. So the excess carriers divided by the rate that is radiative recombination rate or non-radiative recombination rate. So we are substituting this n by r nr in the above expression. So eta internal is equal to r r divided by r r plus r nr. The next step what I have did is in the denominator I have taken r r as a common factor. So the remaining terms will be 1 plus RNR divided by RR. So the numerator RR and denominator RR gets cancelled. So we have 1 by 1 plus RNR divided by RR. Now what we are doing is, so RNR is equal to N by tau NR. RR is equal to N by tau R. So this I have obtained from the previous expression. So from this expression I have obtained these two expressions. Now eta internal is equal to 1 by 1 plus Instead of R N R, I have substituted N by tau N R, and instead of R R, I have substituted N by tau R. Now this N and N cancel, so the denominator tau R goes to the numerator, and the numerator tau N R comes to the denominator. So now I have one by one plus tau R divided by tau N R, and in the denominator I have taken L C M, and the denominator term has come to the numerator term. So this is our first expression. That is internal quantum efficiency so next one is bulk recombination lifetime so bulk recombination lifetime is nothing but the summation of both the radiative and non-radiative recombination lifetime so 1 by tau is equal to 1 by tau r plus 1 by tau nr and here also i have taken lcm and then i have uh, changed the reciprocal term 1 by tau to tau so this side uh, the right side also I have uh, did the reciprocal operation now tau by tau r so the tau r term which is on the left hand side has come to the right hand side so numerator term comes to the denominator tau by tau r is equal to tau nr divided by tau r plus tau nr so now when you see the expression 1 and 2 the right hand side terms are same so tau nr divided by tau r plus tau nr so as the rhs terms are equal you can also equate your left hand side so what is in the left hand side? Eta internal and here tau by tau r. So internal quantum efficiency is nothing but the ratio of bulk recombination lifetime that is tau divided by the radiative recombination lifetime. So which is eta internal is equal to tau by tau nr. Next one, whatever the light we are launching will not be getting at the receiving end. So if the current injected into the LED is I, I is the current which has been injected and Q is the charge of the electron. So the total number of recombinations per second will be RR plus RNR is equal to I by Q. So previously we have derived eta internal is equal to radiative recombination lifetime divided by the total recombination. So RR divided by RR plus RNR. 
so instead of r r plus r and r i have substituted i by q so in the next term this q has come to the denominator and i has gone to the numerator term so here r r is nothing but the total number of photons which has been generated per second so each second r r is the number of photons generated and each photon is having energy of h nu where h is the planck's constant and nu is nothing but the frequency so frequency can be written in terms of speed of light in air divided by the wavelength so next what we are calculating is total optical power which is being generated internally which is being generated inside the led it is r r into h nu and instead of nu i have substituted c by lambda so it is internal quantum efficiency into the current into the planck's constant into the speed of light in air divided by the charge of the electron into the wavelength so wavelength is nothing but lambda this lambda must be in the range of 4000 to 8000 armstrong only within this range human eyes is able to perceive the light which is being emitted from the led below 4000 armstrong or above 8000 armstrong human eyes cannot see the light which is being emitted so next one is external quantum efficiency so internally this is the power generated and this is our efficiency but externally when it comes out of the led actually we will not get all the light which has been generated so that expression it is uh, defined as the ratio of photons emitted from the led to the number of photons which has been generated internally so internally how many photons are generated and externally how many photons we are able to perceive so that is nothing but the ratio of external quantum efficiency so eta external is equal to 1 by n into n plus 1 the whole square previously we have seen n is nothing but the excessive carriers excessive free charges but here n represents the refractive index of the semiconductor material which is used for constructing our led so the total power which is internal power into the external quantum efficiency is uh, this is our total optical power generated in the led so that is p internal divided by n into n plus 1 the whole square so next one is the frequency response of an optical source so this plot is nothing but the graph versus current ratio and the frequency so current ratio it is i out divided by i in so when we plot the graph between these two parameters we will have a uh, slope like this here the point 1 Point zero point seven, which is nothing but 1 by root 2 and half 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 so this will show you how fast the electrical signal changes the optical signal with respect to time so that is nothing but the frequency plot so here the bandwidth can be expressed in two terms one is in terms of electrical bandwidth and other in terms of optical bandwidth so electrical bandwidth is nothing but uh, it is about 1 by root 2 times of the total current the point at which your total current is being reduced to 1 by root 2 times the total current is nothing but electrical 3 dB point and the corresponding frequency is nothing but the electrical bandwidth optical bandwidth how can we define is the point at which our current is reduced to half of its total value which is 0 0.5 of its original value is said to be optical 3 dB point and the corresponding frequency is said to be optical bandwidth so all these operations are happening when modulation of signal is done so when you do the modulation of optical signal or electrical signal consequently your frequency and the bandwidth of the corresponding optical signal and electrical signal will change so this is about the derivation of quantum efficiency led power and the frequency response thank you